Hi, Perpetual Mommy here. Do a bag review on my brand new Lily Jade Shaley bag and the color Brandy. For those of you who watched my unpacking video of this bag, this is my sample sale bag that I was able to score. Was so lucky to be able to have grabbed this bag. And, you know, I want to let you guys know after I did that video, I had a bunch of people write to me and say, can you please, please, please overpack your bag show us how you pack it and for those of you who watch my videos you know that I'm an overpacker anyways I pack for two little girls I pack for a barely two-year-old and a barely one-year-old and I carry a ton of stuff with me I'm not a minimalist when it comes to carrying my diaper bags and so that wasn't a problem for me so I do I did pack this bag very full not only because that is my packing style but because I had a bunch of people say you know what can you really show us how much the Shaley can hold and I will be honest with you guys before I got the Shaley one of the things that was keeping me from grabbing this bag was the fact that I thought I would wouldn't be able to carry enough stuff in it. I do carry a whole bunch of stuff and I am amazed at how much this little bag holds. It's one of the smaller bags made by Lily Jade, but it holds a ton. Now this is the older style Shaylee. The new ones uh, are a bit different and so I will at the end of this video talk about some of the differences between this Shaylee versus the new Shaylees that are for sale on the Lily Jade website right now. But again, this is my sample sale bag. I will link the video in the comments um, in the description below for you guys to go ahead and watch that video if you're interested in watching the unboxing and hear a little bit more about what a sample sale is and how to grab a bag for yourself possibly at the next Lily Jade uh, sample sale when they do that and I to be honest I'm not sure how often they happen whether it's once a year or a couple times a year but let's go ahead and get started so for those of you who are new to Lily Jade they are known for their leather bags now they do make some canvas bags as well with leather trim but they're known for their full grain leather bags now this this is the softest, most supple leather you can imagine. If you guys could feel it, it smells wonderful. It feels great. It's really nice and soft. It, it just, it's a, like a luxury bag. It really is. It's not like a diaper bag. It's like a luxury purse that you would want to carry on a daily basis. So it's super cute. And one of the things that drew me to this bag was how it looked on the outside. I really liked the snap on the side. So one of the things that's really fun with the Shaylee is that it has snaps on either side. So you can, if you wanted to wear this bag cross body or over your shoulder, you attach the strap, the messenger strap here, and you can carry the bag that way. But if you're carrying the bag backpack style, which is how I like to carry this bag, you can go ahead and snap the sides down. And it gives the bag a little bit of a different look. And I kind of like this look better. I think it's just more fun. Gives the bag a little extra twist. Oh. You know, we're going to go ahead and snap it there for the purpose of the video because it's going to want to come undone as I touch the bag. So let's go ahead and get started on the outside of the bag and then we'll move on to the inside of the bag like I normally do. Now on the outside of the bag you're going to notice that you have two pockets here and they're kind of hidden pockets which is a lot of fun. But they're two little pockets and on this pocket right here, I'm going to try to do it from the angle I'm sitting at. Oh, you know what you guys? I pulled out my cell phone earlier. My phone, let's go ahead and stick it in there. So this one, and I don't normally carry it here, but I wanted to have it in here so you guys could see. Now this is an iPhone 6S Plus. I can put it in here, but it's a bit of a tight fit. And it has to go in, I kind of have to start like this and angle it in. But normally I just throw my phone in the top of the bag. See, it's a little bit tight to get out. Normally I just throw it in the top of the bag and then I use this as a catch-all for receipts, um, gum, anything that I have that I want to hold. So normally this is empty for me, but I did want to show you guys that the phone, the iPhone 6S Plus does fit in there with a little bit of finagling. Now remember, my bag is very, very full. So if you didn't have your bag this full, this pocket would probably be a little bit easier to get that phone in and out of. This pocket over here is some grab-and-go items that I want to get at very quickly. So on the top here, I have my favorite lip gloss right now. It's made by Givenchy love this one and then I have should be at 10 minutes and again sorry you guys I'm in a really awkward angle I have a thing of mints I always have mints or gum with me and that's all I have in there right now I'm going to turn the back around so you can see the back side of the bag now again you can carry this bag cross body you can carry it over your shoulder or you can carry it as a backpack now I do have it set up as a backpack. Now, there's lots of videos on YouTube on how to convert this to a backpack, how to loop this. It's very, very simple. Uh, Lily Jade on our Instagram account also has little quick videos on how to do this. But again, this uh, is just a way to knot the straps so they don't slide around while you wear them. And you have one nice big pocket back here. And here I keep my wallet, I keep a full size. Wallet by Jujubee. This is the Jujubee print Donatella Sweet Shop. And this is their Be Rich wallet. And that's all I keep in there. Sometimes I keep a pen in there as well. Right. 
And one of the things I want to mention on the front of the bag that's a lot of fun is this is the Lily Jade Signature Tassel. You do not have to buy this separately. You also don't have to keep it on your bag if you don't want to. It comes uh, hanging on the strap just kind of free, but I like it so it's more secure. It doesn't flop around while I'm wearing it. It doesn't come down the strap if I'm wearing the bag backpack style. So I went ahead and I looped it around the hardware. Now this bag does have really beautiful gold hardware. It's a really pretty gold color. It's almost like a rose gold. It's really beautiful. And again, you have the leather tassel with the lily jade, um, with the jade beads here and the lily jade logo. So I really like that. On the top, you have a nice smooth metal zipper. Lily Jade is known for their zippers, you guys. I don't know if you can see how easy this runs. Now, these zippers were a little bit harder for me to use, again, only because the pockets were really pushed out due to the fact that I have so much in this bag. But the zippers run super, super smooth. Now, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like before I pull anything out. Now, this is my very full Shaylee. Now, on the top, Sitting on top, I have some quick grab items that I want to get out really quickly, things I would use the most. Now this is a custom quicklet, and this is in the GGB print bubble trouble. And I don't know who made this pouch, to be perfectly honest. I'm the second owner of it. I bought it off of the Buy Sell Trade page, so I'm not sure who the original owner is, or seamstress was. But I, in here I have some figurines. I have some of those old, um, what is it, the Cabbage Patch Kid figurines. I have a chew bead necklace. So just kind of some fun toys for my, my kids. Again, some more of these little figurines. It's just full of little toys. So some grab and goes there. Then I also have some more grab and go toys right on the top. I'm going to show you guys so you can see. And you guys see this little guy in almost all of my videos. We have two giraffes. Giraffes are our favorite animal in our house. So this is made by Tolo. It's a Tolo toy and it's a little giraffe. And then again, this is another one of the girls' favorites by Learning Leapfrog. It's their little iPod. And then the other thing sitting right on top is just a snack bag. This is an Itsy Ritzy mini snack bag. And in here I have some yogurt chips and some yogurt raisins. All right, and now you guys can see how the bag looks actually utilizing the insert. So Lily Jade is known for their inserts. It's one of the things that makes these bags really versatile is that it has a baby bag insert. So you can pack the insert and then remove the insert and then you have a purse when you, if you don't want to use the insert or you don't want it to look like a diaper bag or you're leaving your insert with childcare or with grandma and grandpa but you still want to take your purse out with you. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the insert out. Just so you guys can see how I have the insert packed. So it just slips right out. Fully packed. All right, now one of the things that's different about this insert versus the normal Lily Jade inserts for the older Shaylees is that the older ones normally have a magnet here. This one does not have magnets on either side because this was their sample cell bag and one of the differences with the sample cell is it did not come with magnets. So that didn't really matter for me, I don't care about that, but if you guys have a bag by Lily Jade and you're wondering why there's no magnets, that's why it's because this was their sample sale. So again, this is how it looks before we get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the outside pockets. I don't have anything in this pocket or anything in this pocket. There's a pocket right here. I don't keep anything there. Right here I have a single change of clothes. This would fit either of my girls. It would fit my one-year-old or my two-year-old. I am probably going to have to switch that out for a longer pair of pants and a long sleeve shirt because it is getting colder finally where we live. It's not 100 degrees here anymore. Now you have a pocket right here. I don't keep anything there. Now this is a wipe pouch case. This is full of baby wipes, obviously. Uh, I use this even though I keep baby wipes in my diapering essentials that we're going to talk about because I like to have wipes that I'm able to grab at really quick to wipe hands, wipe faces, you know, clean the surface if I have to or spill. So those are my grab and goes. I love the wipe pouch cases. This here is an Itsy Ritzy bag from, excuse me, not Itsy Ritzy. This is an Ipsy Glam bag for those of you who get the Ipsy um, makeup every month. And this one holds some play pack cases for me. So I have a couple play pack cases in here right now. I think I have, I have a Finding Nemo, and I have a Frozen. There's some stickers in here, some crayons, just some paper activities for the girls. And then right here in this pocket, I have a booty pod. This is a booty pod right here. And this is a booty pod cover. The cover is not necessary. It just makes it cute. Now this is in the GGB fabric Perky Toki. It is a custom item. And again, you don't need that. So the booty pod just, it slips right on. 
in and out. And I keep my antibacterial wipes in here because for those of you who use these, you know that as soon as you pop that seal, these leak. They do not reseal well, and I don't want this antibacterial liquid free in my bag. So it just help protect my bag a little bit by keeping that in there just like that. Right. And if you guys wonder, I'm hurrying because we are losing the light really fast here. I only have a bunch of cloud cover today, so I'm trying to get through this while we still have some decent light for you guys to see what we're doing. And that is it, I think. Oh, one more pocket, you guys. So I have nothing here, but in this pocket right here. And you guys have seen this before. For those of you who watch my videos, again, I use this as a washcloth. It's a little teeny burp rag, and literally it is a tiny little burp rag. But I use it to put water on, wipe hands, wipe faces clean up spills it washes up really good and now we're on the inside of the bag and I'm gonna go ahead and start with the outside pockets around the perimeter on the inside if that makes sense so here this is my restaurant essentials case and this is the print for just for those of you who want to know this is a medium set piece by Jujube and it's Jujube and Sanrio collaboration and then again, this is the medium set piece and the B set. And then here I have some silverware. This has the sugar booger silverware for the older baby and some of the replay silverware for the younger baby. And then I have a food pouch. And then I keep several disposable bibs. And then I have stack of table topper mats. Now these are the table topper mats that you put down to keep the food clean from the table and the table clean from the food. And I always keep with me the baby Yannix wipes to wipe the girls hands if I need to if they're going to eat and they haven't had a chance to get their hands washed. And I keep some of those dapple pacifier wipes to wash, wash passies off or wipe silverware down. I have another dapple wipe and some, um, we went to Joe's Crab Shack and got some little wipes that were left over. And that's it for my medium set piece. Then I have in this pocket, so that was right here. In this pocket here, I have part of that B set. It comes in a medium, the small and the large. This is the small set piece. Now this is my mini med kit. And on the top here, I have a baby bug stick. And then I just have some standards in here, some band-aids, some gauze pads, some bacitracin, some nitrile gloves. I do keep a full-size med kit in the car. I'm a first aid and CPR instructor on top of everything else that I do. So I do keep a very large first aid kit in the car, but that's just for boo-boos on the go. And then I also keep a sunscreen because it is still really hot here. Even though it's finally cooling off a little bit, it is still really warm. Right. Now you have bottle pockets on either side. I do not take bottles with us. And if I take cups with us, they don't usually travel inside my bag. So in this pocket right here, I have what is marketed as a toothbrush, but we use it as a teether for the baby. The baby's working on her molars, so use that in there, and I like that it has a little case. On the side pocket right here, I have an Up and Up Target brand toothbrush container with straws in it for the babies. I also have an Honest Company hand sanitizer. This is a staple in all of my bags. Turn the bag around this way. And there's a slip pocket right here. In here, I just have my Petunia Pickle Bottom stroller clips. They work really well with this bag. And I keep a Posh healer stick. And uh, normally I keep hand, uh, I'm not saying hand sanitizer, what I mean to say is lotion. I normally keep hand lotion with me, but it's been really dry outside lately. And I'm just finding that the healer stick works better to hydrate my hands than lotion does. And it absorbs really quickly. It doesn't leave me feeling greasy, which I like. All right. So now you can see stuff's kind of falling over because there's no structure around it anymore. But in here, the main parts, now we're in the main compartment of the bag. I have a large set piece. So again, that's that same, remember it comes in small, medium, and large. This is the large piece and this is my diapering essentials. And in here I keep three, it's pretty standard for me, three size five parasol diapers. And I did a review on the diaper, parasol diapers and wipes and compared it against the Honest Company. I will link that in the description for anybody who wants to watch that review. I do keep a disposable change pad. This is one of the extra large ones. Changing stations really gross me out, so I like to have the disposable change pad so I can just throw it away. 
This is a package of the Parasol Baby Wipes. I love the Parasol Wipes. They are so fantastic. And I have a California Baby Bottom Cream. A couple of antibacterial wipes for my hands. And I keep a couple of the baggies for the Arm Hammer baggies for dirty diapies. And that is it. Now normally I also keep nitrile gloves in here for me. Um, the baby had not a diaper rash, but she had a reaction. She was really sick and she had a reaction to something she ate in her poop and her bottom was sore. And so I was using the gloves to apply CJ's butter on her bottom in a tub. So I'm out of the CJ's butter and I'm out of my nitrile gloves in there. But normally I do keep nitrile gloves with me as well. Now this is a MediBuddy case. My girls are snackers, so I always make sure I have lots of snacks with me. And in here I have three of the baby mum mums. And this just helps keep the mum mums from getting crushed. But again, this is a Muddy Buddy case. It originally came with band-aids and such in it. Now all that's left in here, flopped over, is an Aiden and an I Muzzy blanket. So it's a smaller blanket. It's not the full size Aiden and an I. It's about a half size. Um, and so the girls in the car, they each have a blanket with them at all times, but this is just a little extra levy in case we left the blankets at the car and someone wants one, or somebody drops one and it gets dirty. So that's just our spare. And the very last thing that I have in this insert is my Lily Jade pouch that I use as my cosmetic pouch. So in here, I just have some bits and bobs for me. I have a coin purse by... GDV. Now this is in the print Donatella Sweet Shop, the same as my wallet was. And I keep contact lenses and dental floss in here. And then I keep some migraine medicine. And then just kind of the rest of what you would expect to find in a mommy pouch. I also keep in here some eye patches for the baby. We do have to patch her eye every so often. And so I keep my eye patches in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring the bag back over. Now that the insert is out. So when you take the insert out, if you wanted, you could take your wallet, and I, so I could just throw my wallet, like I was leaving the baby with grandma and grandpa. I find it over here, I just buried my wallet. Just take my wallet, I could just throw it right in the middle, and I could take my, I just lost it, I just got it. Oh my goodness. Take my phone, I could throw that in there. And if I have these recording, oh, here it is. I take my cosmetic pouch and throw that right in the middle and just go. And so that is a fabulous feature of this bag. I just, I absolutely, absolutely adore this bag. But I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff back out and give you a shot of the inside and show you what it looks like. So this is the inside of the bag unpacked. Now I didn't have anything in this slip pocket or the slip pocket. And in the back here, use both my hands. I keep a big size headband for myself because my baby is a hair puller. And I keep a pen. I always have a pen on me. But that's all I keep in here. So it is a beautiful, beautiful bag, you guys. Some of the differences between this one and the new Shaylee that's on the website right now is that the straps, the backpack straps, are longer. And I don't have the dimensions of the, this current bag versus the, the new bag straps, but they're wider. So the straps look about twice as wide as this. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but they look about twice as wide. And they're a bit... Hi, Perpetual Mommy. So uh, we thought we weren't recording, and we were still recording. And so I'm going to insert that blooper in here for you guys to watch. Now, you do hear me say a bad word. So if you're sensitive to the bad words, maybe don't watch that part. But it's pretty funny because my husband thought that the camera turned off, but it didn't. So we were chatting away. Uh, but anyway, so I was talking to you guys about the fact that on the new Shaylee on the website, they did make these straps just a little bit longer. So that if you're wearing bulkier clothing, or maybe you're a larger, larger chested, or a larger mama or daddy, that these straps would be a little bit more comfortable just because they're not quite as tight on your body. And then one of the other differences is that the insert for the new ones so it will no longer have magnets. So this one doesn't have magnets, but the new inserts don't have magnets and they're sturdier. So it means they, you know how this one wanted to flop over during the videos? It'll stand up better. It has handles, okay? So it's more structured. It'll have handles, no magnets. And then for this particular colored bag, the inside, instead of being red, is a beautiful jade color. Okay, so the lining is now a beautiful, beautiful 
you know, like jade. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. And so no more with the red lining for the brandy colored bags or the camel colored bags. You're going to find that jade lining. Um, I believe that all of their black leather bags still have red. But again, I'm not, you know, you want to check that out on the website. Uh, and then their bags as well. Some of the bags you have an option of having gold hardware or silver hardware. So my brandy has the gold hardware. But again, love, love, love this bag. And one of the things I always forget to talk to you guys about with the Lily J bags is that all of their bags do come with a change pad. Now, I always use disposable change pads. It is how I roll. It's what I do. But the Lily J change pad's really nice. It rolls up, rolls down really easy. Okay. So it's a pretty decent size change pad. It hardly takes up any room at all inside the bag. But I just, I don't use it. So, um... For those of you who are wondering who do like your bags to come with a change pad, you utilize the change pad, it does come with a very nice one, and look how easy it is just to, you know, roll it back up. Nothing. It takes, you know, seconds. It's a fantastic little, little piece. Although I'm saying that and I can't get it to snap because, you know, famous lost words and all. But there you go. All right, you guys, this is my review on my new-to-me Lily Jade sample sale brandy Shaylee. I would love to hear your comments below. I'd love to hear what your favorite, favorite, favorite Lily Jade bag is. What's your favorite feature of the Lily Jade bag is. And I'm, as always, I'm open to answer any questions that you have or to take video requests. Hope you're all having a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.